Welcome everyone to Rare World Coins. This is RM World Coins. Hopefully you're finding my videos interesting and hopefully helpful as you collect coins from around the world. Um, as I mentioned before, you know, you're looking for coins that has good appeal, good demand, right? And of course are rare coins. Uh, definitely uh, the appeal will be how the coin looks to a collector, if it's brilliant, if it's toned, and of course, the nicer it looks, the more uh, demand that coin will have. As far as scarcity, uh, definitely you wanna be sure that the coin has a very limited supply. Uh, either it has a low mintage or it has been melted down, maybe sometimes been recalled, okay? Those are the things that are true rarities, okay? And of course, third is the demand that there are collectors uh, looking and uh, trying to find these coins for their collection, okay? So those are the three things that I look for in a coin uh, before I consider purchasing the coin. Uh, so uh, if you have that in mind when you do collect coins, uh, you can't go wrong because in the near future, you're going to end up selling it sooner or later to someone else. And of course, that collector definitely, uh, you know, wants to be able to acquire those coins from you. So be sure that those three things are uh, there for, on those coins, uh, demand, scarcity, uh, and appeal. Uh, what we have here today is a coin from Egypt, a very popular country. I highly collect coins from Egypt, especially the crowns. They have a very nice selection of coins uh, from the early 1800s uh, uh, to the early 1900s. Uh, this one here we have is a PCGS graded uh, 20 piastri uh, from 1917-HH uh, indicate that is a mint mark from the struck from the heat and mint in, in London. Uh, so this one here has indicating that it is a genuine coin and it is, has been harshly cleaned. So we'll see that. And this is during the British occupancy, uh, in Egypt. So this is a very popular, uh, date. Uh, this particular design was struck, uh, for actually two years, 1916 and 1917 struck in a different mint. And of course, the H struck in England. Um, this one here has the lower mintage of the three type coins. And this one here is the harder coin to find in true uncirculated condition. And it's probably worth twice as much as the 1916 and 1917 regular dates. So the H uh, mint mark is twice as scarce as the regular. 1916, 1917. Now what we're looking at basically is the reverse of the coin. It's a very nice design and it's got the date down in almost three quarters of the way down. And it looks like a, a one with backward sevens. Okay, for uh, that date, AH 1335. Uh, and of course, uh, that is a 1917 uh, with the H, and I will, I'll show that to you shortly. So this is a very popular design. This one here, uh, I say is a lower mintage of the three types that were struck. And uh, this one here is the harder coin to locate in true uncirculated condition. Now let's take a quick look at the coin. Uh, as I mentioned, this is the reverse of the coin. Let's look at the obverse of the coin. This is what you're going to get. It says 20 PA Street, 1917. And of course, it's also on the right hand side. And of course, if you see right below, uh, on the just towards the rim, you'll see a little small H between the dates, uh, between the ribbons, and there is an H mint mark there. But this one here is. A very nice AU, but it has been cleaned. So sometimes, uh, you know, the next best thing uh, from an uncirculated is, 
is almost uncirculated, but try to minimize the cleaning on this coin. But this one here is still a decent coin for the grade, aside from the cleaning that is noted on the fields, but it's still a nice coin. Uh, normally you'll see this coin probably in this condition selling for around uh, four to five hundred dollars whereas the other ones that are less common are maybe selling for you know thirty to fifty dollars for similar condition so this one here is a rare date also noted that uh, that normally on the two other 1960-1917 there is an inner circle where this one does not have that inner circle around the coin. So this one here is the more uh, rare date, more popular coin. Uh, normally the 1916-1917 and true BUs are running between 15 to 2000. Uh, but uh, for this one here with the H mint mark, it would probably run twice as much. So this is a very popular Egypt 20 piastri coin during the occupation by England, uh, by the British colony or the British Commonwealth. And so a very popular coin, highly sought after by you know, British collectors uh, and world collectors. And definitely this one here is a harder coin to find in true uncirculated condition. And this one here, of course, is a genuine piece so be careful because there is a lot of copies or counterfeits available. So be sure you know what you're getting. Be sure to check the weight, uh, do comparisons. And if you're not familiar, get one that is certified. It's a less headache for you. So you be sure you're getting a true coin and not a copy because I have seen many, many copies of this particular date, 1917 with the H mint mark. So be careful when you're buying this particular date. Again, the reverse is also very nice, but note that you can see the cleaning uh, in the date area on this particular coin. Very nice design, uh, very detailed here. So it's a nice high AU, a very popular coin, highly desirable by world coin collectors. So if you are a collector of Egypt, very popular coin, 20 P A Street, 1917 with the H mint mark just below uh, the ribbons, between the ribbons at the bottom by the rims, okay? Very popular coin, highly desirable, definitely harder coin to find. So if you're completing the three coin set, the 1916, the 1917, and of course, 1917 with the H mint mark. Definitely, you'll have a nice uh, three coin set. Uh, aside from that, Egypt also has very uh, popular coins. Uh, also, the 20 PA Street that is also like uh, 1923, 1929, 1933, 1937, 1939, 20 PA Street crowns, okay? So if you get the whole series, definitely you'll have a nice collection. Well, hopefully you like the information I have provided to you. If you like the information, uh, please subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost you anything. It helps me increase my subscriber. And then of course, if you have any uh, comments, please uh, go ahead and send that to me if I can be a, of any help in answering your questions. Uh, please subscribe, share, ring the bell, and uh, watch out for my next video which I'll upload shortly. Till next time, take care.